I like miss him all the time. No, your ears aren't deceiving you. That's Chloe saying she misses her ex, Lamar Odom. In a sneak peek at Sunday's episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe opens up to Kim and Courtney about where things stand with her ex husband. I like miss him all the time, but not in a place where I'm like, I want to get back with him. So he called me and he was like, I just knew we were all gonna talk again at some point. I'm just so happy. He was like, I would love to see you. I've been dying to see you in person. I just feel like we have so much to talk about. So what did Chloe's big sis have to say about Lamar's attempt to reconnect? I mean, I think it would be nice if you guys like had a face to face after all these years. I just feel like maybe you have to get that out. Chloe and Lamar tied the knot in 2009, just one month after they met. What did it mean to be married to Chloe, and what does Chloe still mean to you today? Oh, um, a lot, you know. Um, you still love her? Yeah, I still got a lot of love for her. In 2013, the marriage was hit hard by Lamar's cheating scandal and drug relapse. She was loving you, but there were other women. Yeah. Lots of other women, or just, what, what, what was See, it? I mean, well, if you're married, one is two. You know what I'm saying? You got one at home. If you're dealing with another one, that's, wait, that's one too many. And by December, Chloe had filed for divorce. Was she the love of your life? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Would you or could you have stayed with her? Yeah, but you know, um, when you're an addict and you're fighting those demons, you can't even really, you're not loving yourself. Yeah. So you can't even spread the love to someone that's loving you as much as she loved me. But the two were still legally married when Lamar was hospitalized following a near-death overdose in 2015. And as a result, Chloe, who was making all of his medical decisions, opted to call off their divorce proceedings. How much do you think you hurt her? I mean, a lot. Yeah? Yeah, a lot. I'm blessed just for her even just to pick up my phone call. In 2016, Chloe refiled for divorce and it was finalized later that year. I always felt after, I think this overdose that I did everything in my power to like be there through like sickness and health. And once I saw that he, you know, wasn't in the headspace to really want to change his bad situation, then I was fine yeah. letting him go. I, I've never thought twice about it and why we stopped talking or anything like that. Yeah. But Chloe did admit she was happy to hear his voice. It feels really good just to have a decent, nice conversation with Lamar. But, you know, I really don't know what the right thing to do is in this situation. I don't want to mislead him in any way, but I would like to meet with him. Have you guys kind of made amends now? Is it, has it, it come full circle? Um. I mean, I wouldn't call it amends. I've spoke to, spoken to her recently. Mm -hmm. If you call that amends, I don't you know. What do you think about her and Tristan and the baby? I mean, it's a bad, it's just a bad situation. She doesn't deserve that. She's a beautiful person from the inside out. Yeah. You know, just a man, I guess, being as stupid as I was.